The important thing to know about this dog is that Minnie doesn't spell her name M-I-N-I. It's M-I-N-N-I-E. Very important. There's a distinction because she is not a miniature dog. She has a huge attitude and she has big lubbies and she sits tall when she's in your lap. She gets along with big dogs under the desk. She's an awesome little dog in the office. So Minnie and I go way back. She was a puppy when I first met her. And I have to admit, I think I trained her wrong because now she's crazy about weird things. And I'm really sorry about that. I love Minnie so much. I love this little girl. She is a Disney girl, just like me. Sometimes we match our polka dots. Um, she has such a big personality inside this tiny little body and I just love holding her. So Minnie isn't all that innocent. You know, she, she gives us appeal, this impression. She's like fragile and, and she's quite the princess in the campus, but there's a little, a little uh, conniving side to her. Oh, you want to talk about Minnie? Oh God, where do I start? Um, you always feel like, like something's wrong because she's always like yiping at you or uh, you know, she's cute as can be. She's so little, you go to pick her up and she's <laughs> she starts biking at you. But she's a cute one. Out of, out of all of them, I think she thinks she's, she's the biggest, but she's the smallest, so it's, it's kind of a fun thing. Honestly, she can be uh, temperamental and uh, demanding. She likes to cry a lot. She um, got stepped on once when she was a puppy, and now if you get anywhere close to her, she starts to scream or yelp. I don't know what they're all talking about. I love this dog. She's my first dog I've ever had, but she is so high maintenance. I have a 15 month old baby at home and she whines and cries less than this cute little girl, but I still love her.